I'm sure the city is going to be really busy this weekend with people out celebrating. And the weather, for the most part, not too shabby, Kate. Not too bad at all. You know, we would we would happily trade today for a weekend day if we could, because we're talking mid 70s with sunshine. But over the weekend, we're we're looking at 60s still, which is still above the average. Keep in mind, the average high for today's date is 52. So far, our average high. In the month of March is 57.8, so far above average. In fact, last Sunday was the only day. You remember the wind and the the snow squalls we had. That was the only day that fell below average, and only by about a degree. So our average high today, 57.8, that puts us at 8 plus 1, 8.1 degrees plus on the month. But next week we're going to have some blue days here, and that, of course, is how averages are made. So let's take a look outside. Clouds and radar showing a few patchy clouds moving into western Pennsylvania, but most of today for us will be sunny and bright. Our next system creeping towards us from the west, and it doesn't have a ton of moisture with it. I don't think tomorrow is a washout, but tomorrow evening into tomorrow night there will be areas of rain around. So plan accordingly. Your Friday night plans looking like uh, the weather could put a little bit of a damper on that today. No damper at all. Good day to sit outside, enjoy the sunshine. 76 degrees, warm and gorgeous along the Schuylkill River Trail. Folks will be out. Certainly, any area across the region trails, bikes, runners, joggers it is going to be perfect weather outside. Not too hot, not too cold. That Goldilocks forecast. Our forecast high that today is 24 degrees above average. And not just here, all across the eastern seaboard, our forecast highs today are more than 10, 15, even 20 degrees above the average. You may have noticed that you're sneezing and suffering a little bit more if you're an allergy sufferer. That's because of tree pollen is very high right now. Medium levels of mold as well, and the breeze we've had for much of the week has kind of been mixing that around, and that will continue today. So if you are headed out on the trail and you do suffer from seasonal allergies, you may want to take the uh, take the Zyrtec ahead of time or whatever is your your allergy med of choice. As we go through the rest of today, just a few patchy clouds, but the whole day is bright and sunny, very very warm. The beginning of the end starts tonight as clouds begin to roll in, and there will be a few scattered shower chances midday tomorrow. This is about 11 a.m. We may actually get a few breaks of filtered sun late afternoon, but I wouldn't hang your hat on it. Tomorrow evening, that's when showers break out all across the region. So your Friday night dinner plans, it'll be warm, but you will want the umbrella handy. By Saturday morning, this clears out. We'll likely start Saturday with some cloud cover and then more sunshine as the day goes on, but it will be noticeably cooler for the weekend. So 62 degrees, some sunshine breaking out. It's still a nice day. St. Patrick's Day Sunday looks partly sunny, a little cooler, and there will be the chance of a stray shower, especially in the evening, but most of the day is dry. That, though, is going to usher in our next round of cooling. So we knock it back a bit for the weekend, but the real backtracking in the temperature comes next week. We start spring on Tuesday, and it's not going to feel like it. The high only 46 degrees, so a switch to colder than average weather is on the docket.